good afternoon, it's Mel here. I thought I would do a little experiment today by just doing an impromptu live on my YouTube channel. Now, YouTube alerted me a little while ago to say that um, we can go live vertically now. Um, and anyway, it's kind of a newish thing, I think. Well, anyway, they just told me about it. So I thought, why not use my birthday to give it a go? So I thought I would share quickly um, it's my birthday today, by the way, <laughs> and that's why I thought I'd do this. And if it's popular, if it's well received, then I might do more of these just impromptu live streams, sometimes with tapping, sometimes without. And today I wanted to share, kind of share three kind of things that I think are important um, on, that I've learned through my life, kind of life lessons on my birthday. And funnily enough, it very much incorporates the themes of mind, body and spirit, which I must give a little nod, little shout out to my dear tapping friend, Brad Yates, who I was inspired to end my tapping videos with, you know, when, when I end in body, mind and spirit, um, um, that was very much inspired by Brad, but it's just a beautiful, perfect way to end it. Um, a tapping video. So that's what I want to talk about today, just the mind, body and spirit and why each one of those elements are things that I like to incorporate in my day every single day. So let's first start with mind. Tapping is very much a mindset tool. It's um, very much kind of... Um, so one of the four agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz's four agreements is about um, being impeccable with your word, minding your language. Now, my clients and people who know me know that I'm very, very observant of the language that people use, very intentional about the language I use. And my tapping videos, all the words that I say are very intentional. So, and this is kind of around the thoughts that you think. So it's not just the words that you speak, it's the thoughts that you think, it's your mindset. And the thoughts that you think affect the way that you feel and the way that you feel can control your day. So if you're not feeling great, it's because of the thoughts that you're thinking. So just think different thoughts. And I know that sounds very easy. And this is where I truly believe that tapping is the most incredible tool to help you shift your mindset when you're not feeling great. And you'll see that on my YouTube channel, I have tapping videos that cover a whole raft of different topics, so many different topics. Um, because of course tapping stands for emotional freedom technique and and the way you're feeling is very much has a direct relation to what you're thinking so if you want to shift the way you're feeling change the way you're thinking change your words change your thoughts you know do some affirmations um, tap in front of a mirror positive self-talk that's really going to change you know the way you feel so that's the first thing um so those of you just tuned in, I'm just going to share three kind of life lessons that I've learned on my birthday. So the first one is about the mind. Second one is body. Now, good health is everything. Now, in my members community, the Tapping Into Your Big Vision members community, every year we make vision boards. Twice a year we make vision boards. This is kind of what I'm known for, vision boards and tapping. My business is called Tapping Into Your Big Vision. Now... Um, when it comes to the vision, I talk about the four pillars of the big vision. And one of these pillars is health. So, of course, this is related to body. Health is the greatest wealth of all. Without good health, you know, nothing is going to work properly. So I, I have tapping videos that are going to help you sleep better. They're going to help you release your sugar cravings that um, inspire and motivate you to exercise and move your body. And I truly believe that our health is also very much linked to our mindset as well. Um, you know, as I'm kind of entering my 48th year, more than ever, I feel a real commitment to being healthy, being strong, being really fit. Now, um, I actually use my parents, sadly, as, a, as my motivator because unfortunately my dad has dementia. My mum has quite severe mobility issues and I can see the um, 
the choices they made in their lives. My dad, oh my gosh, such a terrible sugar addict. The worst sweet tooth. Even today, my dad literally, and I think it's kind of a byproduct of dementia as well, his sweet tooth is insatiable. But I truly believe that, but actually physically he's quite fit because funnily enough, my dad through his life was very active. He was up and down ladders. He was buying wood from the wood yard. He was building things. He was mixing cement. My dad was always very fit. He walked miles. So physically my dad's quite strong. However, he ate terribly. He could eat a whole packet of biscuits, cookies for lunch, and that would fill him up. And, and I truly believe that his dementia was partly as a result of um, his ridiculous sugar cravings. So, and also my mum has very severe mobility issues, but she actually is very slim. Um, mentally, she's fine because she ate quite well, but my mum never did any exercise. She didn't think she needed to. Um, she certainly didn't lift weights or um, I never do, saw her do any kind of cardio or anything. And as a result, you know, physically, she's very weak now. So I see that as kind of like, right, I need to eat well and I need to move my body, but sometimes I can't be bothered. Sometimes I just wanna eat carbs. Sometimes I can't be bothered to go to the gym, but tapping really helps me to stay motivated, to give me that kind of kick up the backside on the days when I can't really be bothered. So, they're the, so hello and welcome if you're joining me. It's my birthday today and I just wanted to share three um, life lessons that you know, I've had kind of a realisation on at this point in my life, but also um, my commitment to myself of the things that I'm going to do more of. And these are related to mind, which I've just talked about. Body, which I've again just mentioned about my commitment to my health, to fitness, to exercise and to eating well. And the third of these is spirit. It's my connection to source. It's meditating. It's living from a place of gratitude and appreciation and and taking time to reflect and go within um but connection to spirit my intuition is um something i make time for every day it's part of my morning routine behind me is my altar where i sit and i do my morning meditation i do morning tapping every day i tap with my clients every day so for me it's really important to have that connection with a higher power with source with god or whatever the term that you like to use with the universe even so they for me are the three kind of building blocks of my life the fundamentals the mind making sure my mindset is strong my body keeping that as strong and as healthy as possible and my spiritual connection keeping that as strong as possible as well so if you're new to me, my name is Melanie Moore. I'm also known as Big Vision Coach and I love to help my clients to tap into their big vision. I believe that we all have goals and dreams, whether we've, we've known of them for a long time or whether they're buried from the past and you know, perhaps there's things that we want to do differently. I believe every day is a new beginning. Every day is an opportunity for us to start again. Um, let letting go, that's another big principle, just let go of the past, let go of the things that are out of your control and pay attention to the things that are in your control, the things that you can do more of. So that's all I wanted to share today. Let me know if you would like me to come on more often and do these kind of live streams. And, and I'm actually thinking in the future, talking more about relationships, talking more about health, talking more about... Um, um, esoteric, you know, woo-woo that stuff, which I love as well. And, and, you know, incorporate some tapping as well. So I'm going to drop a link afterwards to some tapping videos. If you are kind of on this journey, some of my favorite <coughs> tapping videos. Oh, I've got a dog as well called Bitsy and she often interrupts my live streams. So. <laughs> oh, is it your birthday? Hello, Shay. Happy birthday to you, fellow Pisces. Yes, it's my birthday today. And, and I've got a dog called Bitsy. And I remember in the past, I always just love doing live stream, not used to do it so much on YouTube because that's the reason. But anyway, um, yes, I've got a dog as well. I also have two teenagers and I love, I've been tapping with my children since they were very young. They've used it to help them with 
their exam stresses through their lives and yeah they're, they're a lot they're teenagers now so um but they have plenty of tools and resources to tap along with as do you do check out the tapping videos on my youtube channel and if you come across a video that you love i'd love you to share it out i often hang on it hang out on instagram so um, my handle there is at i am melanie moore so if you ever tap along with me, do tag me on Instagram as well. So anyway, that's it from now. I just wanted to pop on, say hello, just share my quick three life lessons around mind, body and spirit, which of course are how I, how I always sign off my tapping videos. So sending you um, lots of great vibes today and um, just go back and watch the beginning if you missed the beginning. So have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.